This is absolutely ridiculous, Scotty. Scotty, you are a fool in love. That woman don't want you, sir. But you're out here making a fool of yourself. Going after Michael Jordan. I mean, this guy is just. Y'all, look at this video. We're going to get into it, but let, look at this video. Scotty's in this video talking about how LeBron James would be the greatest statistical player to ever play the game of basketball. Michael Jordan was a horrible player. <laughs> What's going on with these men? Y'all know I talk about these helpful, but what about these men? Y'all men are right there. Y'all acting out just like these heifers are, man. Like, I, I can't just say it's the heifers. You males are right there. Your mental illnesses, you know, you're overly emotional. You right there with the women. Ain't no difference. Y'all acting just like them, man. We got to confront these things. Scotty, you need help, sir. Scotty, that woman don't. That woman don't care about you, man. She she moved. She's moving on. She's she's doing what she's doing to gaslight you. And instead of you confronting the gaslighting, you want to take your emotions out on Michael Jordan. You want to take your emotions out on Michael Jordan. All right. I want y'all. Let's take a look at his Insta. His Insta real quick. I want y'all to take a look at his Insta. What's up, Stephen Brown? Before we get into this video, let's check out his Insta real quick. He put this post up here. This was yesterday. And it says, uh, I don't know if y'all can see it. Hold on. It says, uh, says, you don't need a lot of friends. You just need the right ones. And then he put this post up here. He has a picture of himself when he was younger. And he says, from humble beginnings to six championships, two gold medals, Hall of Fame, and leading the Bulls franchise with the most playoff wins, here's to unsung heroes. Unsung heroes. Bro, you've gotten, you've gotten the accolades. Oh, um, uh, Ms. Fantastic, we about to get into it. We're about to play this video. Can y'all see it? All right. LeBron will be the greatest statistical guy to ever play the game of basketball. And there's no comparison to him. None. So, does that make him the greatest player to ever play the game? I'll leave that out for debating because I don't believe that there's a great player because our game is a team game and one player can't do it. Like I seen Michael Jordan play before I came to play with the Bulls. You guys seen him play. He's a horrible player. He was horrible to play with. <laughs> Y'all heard that? <laughs> you know? Y'all heard that, right? He's basically saying Michael Jordan was bad before he got to the Bulls. And then after he got to the Bulls, he was still horrible because he was horrible to play with and he was a horrible player. Let's go back. It's a good guy to ever play the game of basketball. And there's no comparison to him. None. So does that make him the greatest player to ever play the game? I'll leave that out for debating because I don't believe that there's a great player because our game is a team game and one player can't do it. Like I seen Michael Jordan play before I came to play with the Bulls. You guys seen him play. He's a horrible player. He was horrible to play with. He was all one-on-one. -on -one. He's shooting bad shots. And all of a sudden we become a team and we start winning. Everybody forgot who he was. <laughs> that is from his mouth. Nobody, you know, again, we can say now, now the video, the visual and the audio wasn't matching up perfectly, but it sounds like Scotty is saying this. Like, how does this make you look, Scotty? You look crazy. I told y'all with these, but something's wrong with these males. These males are emotional like women. 
And instead of him confronting the fact that Lars is the one embarrassing you and humiliating you, you want to take your frustrations out on Michael Jordan. And it wasn't just the documentary. Scotty has always felt this way, probably. A hint of jealousy because he feels like people have heaped praise on Michael and not him. But if it's a team game, Scotty, why are you trying to put yourself in it like you're the one who are leading the Bulls to these championships? Shout out to Omar. Uh, he says, as a diehard Bulls fan, I watched that full podcast and a lot of stuff that Scotty was saying was understandable. But to say that MJ was, was a horrible player before Scotty got to the Bulls is BS. I'm saying, like, what's going on, Scotty? Like, like Scotty, you, you, you need, do you need to talk to someone? Do you need counseling? Like, that boy is, no, not, not boy, but that guy is damaged. Scotty Pippen is a damaged individual. He is. He is damaged. And he's seeking validation. Shout out to Mr. Fantastic. He says, man, somebody called in a wellness check for Scotty. Help, Lord. He, need, he definitely needs it because he has to be drinking or whatever he's doing. Uh, maybe he's taking too many uh, um, painkillers. I don't know. But for him to be saying this, knowing that that's not true, Michael Jordan has always been a talented player, even before Scotty got there. And for Scotty to say this, and then you go to his Instagram, and he's putting up posts like this, it, it leads you to believe, and this was after the podcast. So, you know, he's putting up this post, you know, see it, you know, basically because he knows that people are going to come at him. He knows this, but, but this just doesn't make any sense though. I mean, this, this don't make any sense, Scotty. You're not making any sense, sir. You try like, like, what is it with you and Michael Jordan don't even talk about you. He don't. Is he, is he, is he, are you mad because he's not answering your phone calls? Let's, let's hear it again. LeBron will be the greatest statistical guy to ever play the game of basketball. Listen, it's not all about stats. You know, there's a lot that goes into being a great player, whether you're a great leader, teammate. There's a lot that goes into to being considered great. And it's, and, it's, and it's interesting how you have all this heat, this smoke. Did you tell Michael to, the, to his face? I doubt you, you've ever done that. And there's no comparison to him. None. So, does that make him the greatest player to ever play the game? I'll leave that out for debating. Because I don't believe that there's a great player. Because our game is a team game. And one player can't do it. Like, I seen Michael Jordan play before I came to play with the Bulls. You guys seen him play. Bet he wouldn't say that in front of him. MJ. No. I tears know, of he, joy, he, tears of joy, tears of joy. Appreciate it. Nah, he, he would never say that. You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm not one of those guys that will say, you know, the old school players were better than these new school. I'm not one of those type of guys. All right. There's a lot of talented basketball players today. A lot. But we can't deny that there were great basketball players back in the day. Right. And Scotty, unfortunately, I ain't putting you in that list yourself. Okay. You are a great teammate. I think you, your role on the team with the Bulls was great, but let's be real. When Jordan wasn't there, what were you doing? When, when you left the Bulls, what were you doing? Where was your greatness? You know, I, I just feel like, I just feel like Scotty's very, he's salty. This is salt. Sup, unicorn. This is salt. Make sure y'all like the stream. This is saltiness. Oh, can y'all see it? He was a horrible player. He was horrible to play with. He was all one-on-one. -on -one. He's shooting bad shots. And all of a sudden, we become a team and we start winning. Everybody forgot who he was. LeBron. Forgot who he was. He was a... He was a good player before you got there, Scotty. You helped elevate the team. Shout out to Roland. 
Scottie Pippen is doing legacy damage control because LeBron James being recently swept 4-0 by the Nuggets a week ago has uh -huh. again triple confirmed Michael Jordan as the GOAT of professional basketball. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that has caused Shannon Sharp to have a meltdown. And again, I recognize how great of a player LeBron James is. At his age to be able to play at the level that he's playing at, he has shown that he, you know, has the talent and the capabilities of being one of the best ever, right? One of the best ever. But I'm not going to say he's the best ever, right? And Michael Jordan did a lot of work when he got into them playoffs. We can't deny that. But let, let's get back into it. Ron will be the greatest statistical guy to ever play the game of basketball. And there's no comparison to him. None. So... Does that make him the greatest player to ever play the game? I'll leave that out for debating because I don't believe that there's a great player because our game is a team game and one player can't do it. Like, I seen Michael Jordan play before I came to play with the Bulls. You guys seen him play. He was a horrible player. He was horrible to play with. He was all one-on-one. -on -one. He's shooting bad shots. <laughs> Why does Scotty look over to the left like that? Like he's trying to find things to say about Mike, you know? Scotty more sensitive than that game. He couldn't play versus Pistons that they lost in game seven. Right. Appreciate that. Like, like Scotty, why are you so hurt, man? I, I would expect a woman to be, you know, you know, women are emotional. You expect a woman to be emotional and sensitive. But this to me is just, it's over the top. And we all know why he's hurt. You want to deflect away from the fact that Larsa Pippen has been embarrassing you since 2017 and now she's dating Michael's son. She is, she's making sure to show off the Jordan symbolism in most of her pictures. Y'all see the picture she takes with Marcus Jordan. It's about her symbolically throwing it back in Scotty's face. So instead of Scotty confronting that, he wants to confront and call out Michael Jordan. This is what you call being a hater. And he played with this guy. You play with Michael Jordan. You're sounding like a hater. I ain't never seen hate like this. <laughs> this, is, this is what you call a hater, man. This is a straight up hater. I would never call LeBron horrible, ever. I don't think any of LeBron's teammates would ever call him horrible. But you're calling him horrible? Scotty. Come on, man. Like, what are you sipping on, right? What liquor? Are, are you sipping on Shay Shay's liquor? Shout out to Mr. Fantastic. One of Scotty's biggest moments was him pointing to the Jordan logo on the shoes he was wearing begging MJ to come back. <laughs> I can't believe this is real. Appreciate that. That's crazy. Yeah. Because he needed him. He needed him. He needed him. He realized he can't lead. He's not a leader. He can't lead a team. Need him. And Jordan eventually came back. But but Scotty, man, Scotty's sipping on that Shay Shay liquor. And, you know, he's he's tweeting. Now he's 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 Instagramming. He did this podcast. It's like, I have never seen a hater like this. This is such an open this this is this is what you call being a hater. Straight up. Damn Scotty Don turned into a bronsexual tears of joy at this point, bro. <laughs> Might as well hang with Skip Bayless sneezing face. By the way, MJ will always be the GOAT full score. I right, appreciate that, man. Listen, they 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 want to crown LeBron, which is whatever. You know, everybody has their favorite. I'm not here to tell y'all who, who to like and who not to like. But this to me is on a whole different level. Whole different level. 